Uh, hi, this is uh, Shankar. Happy Janmashtami to everybody, uh, which was yesterday. Um, and uh, I was in Vrindavan yesterday, so I didn't make a video yesterday. Today I thought I'd uh, just make a small video on one of the very important principles which I have uh, decided seeing a lot of horoscopes, studying a lot of horoscopes, and uh, various, uh, you know, uh, and various books. It's something which is, uh, which is, but, but apply this. And there's nothing but a theory of dispositor. Whenever a planet goes to the eighth from its own self, it is, it is doomed. The strength of the planet which goes to the eighth, suppose you have a planet in Lagnesh, a planet, any planet, let's say you have uh, Mars as your Lagna, Aries as your Lagna, I'm mean, sorry, Mars is a Lord and Aries is a Lagna and you have Mars in the eighth. Though it is in its own house, in this case, uh, even then Mars will, you know, give you problems. Now what also happens is, the second important principle we want to explain to you is, that if a planet which is placed sixth to it, that is suppose you have Aries and you have a planet, any planet, let's say Jupiter placed there and Jupiter is a very good friend of Mars but you have another planet placed sixth to it, let us say Saturn, Saturn is placed sixth to it. So therefore Jupiter becomes eighth from this Saturn which is placed sixth, right? Understood? Jupiter becomes eighth from the planet which is placed eighth to it. Like you have Jupiter in the first house and you have Saturn in the sixth house. Then Jupiter, Saturn is placed sixth, but it will destroy Jupiter, which is eighth to it. I mean, it will destroy the Kartatva of Jupiter to a great extent because it is eight to it. Therefore, a planet whose dispositor is placed aid from itself becomes weak, right? And a planet which is placed sixth and hits at the eight, that is, it is sixth. So if a planet from, a, a, a planet from, a, a, a planet which is placed aid to that planet, aid to that planet gets destroyed by this particular planet, whether irrespective they are friends or enemies. I mean, it creates a confusion, it creates, creates negation, it creates problem. As I explained to you, you have Jupiter in, let's say, Aries, and Jupiter in Aries is very good, right, from all aspects. And you have Saturn in the sixth house. Saturn is, from Saturn, Jupiter is eight. From Saturn, Jupiter is eight. Therefore, Saturn attacks Jupiter. Saturn attacks Jupiter. And it is not that Saturn gets affected. It is Jupiter which will get affected. But because that is the way it rotates. Whenever it is Jupiter which will get affected, and Jupiter looks after the second house, the fifth house, the ninth house, and the twelfth house. I mean, there are a lot of things. 50% of your horoscope is dependent on Jupiter. So this Saturn will actually impact the Jupiter. Though, by seeing you will feel, feel there's nothing wrong in it. Jupiter is in Aries, right? And Saturn is in the sixth house. It is in the house of Mercury, Saturn's friend. Exaltation sign of, uh, you know, the uh, of Mercury, which is friend. But the Saturn looks with its eighth aspect on Jupiter. Saturn is eighth to Jupiter. Saturn, if you count it like clockwise, Jupiter is eight, and just to explain again, it will destroy a lot of things. Nothing will happen to Saturn. Saturn will remain strong. Saturn, nothing will happen to Saturn, but Jupiter loses a lot of its power in Kartatva when such a situation happens, and it is there in a lot of horoscopes. Please try, write, and let me know. Thanks. Bye for now. This is it for today. And you can contact and contact me at connectingminds at gmail.com on my WhatsApp mobile uh, as also on my Twitter, Insta, as well as on my site. Uh, I have books 
which are published through Prabhat Publication and Sagar Publications. Uh, you can uh, buy them. They're all on Amazon also. So you can buy from them. Uh, you can read my articles. You can read my, uh, please read my other videos. I understand it is very important for everybody to like a video. So if you look at the video and you like it, press like, not for any other purpose because I'm not commercial. I'm, you know, it's just that you know, I get an idea of, you know, you liked it and you commented on it. Whatever. Thanks. Bye for now.